Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. We've got the latest Loot Crate versus Nerd Block video to Geeky Boxes Enter One Geeky Box Leaves. Uh, for those who don't know, these are two services of the probably dozen at this point, at least out there, that you go get a box of geeky goodness to your doorstep every single month. You don't know necessarily what you're going to get with these two, you just know what their themes are and they give you a whole bunch of hints from there. Uh, for Nerdblock, their theme was Never Ending Story. For Loot Crate, their theme was Invasion. I could have told you, beginning just off of those themes, that these boxes were generally going to suck this month, and I was right. Uh, both were definitely disappointing uh, boxes. They each had, like, one or two cool items. That was about it. Uh, so Nerdblock, Never Ending Story. For that, we get a lot of fantasy-related stuff. For those who've watched these videos, listen to our podcast, generally our site, you know I hate fantasy. It's just not my genre. I'd rather have sci-fi. So fantasy stuff bores me. What bores me even more than fantasy? Harry Potter. I can't stand Harry Potter. I don't. I've tried reading the books. I didn't like them. I watched the movie. I fell asleep. I just dislike Harry Potter tons and tons of times. Fortunately, this box has a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. There is a t-shirt. I will say the t-shirt's kind of cool, but again, I'm not into Harry Potter, so it's not the greatest thing for me. Uh, one thing I do like out of this box is this bookmark that has a film cell from Harry Potter. Now, film cells are something I've always wanted to collect, so to be able to get them here and there, I think it's kind of neat. Uh, we have this Hogwarts keychain crest thing. Um, you've seen me open up keychains. What do I always rag about? That the keychains are freaking enormous. This is no exception. Great packaging. Looks really nice, but it's huge. I would never have this in my pocket. Um, one other item that I really, really like is this never-ending story uh, journal. It's a lined paper, really small, but it's really nice quality. The, the book itself, uh, the outside of it, it's just it's, it's quality product. I'm giving them props on that. Um, final two items, we have this print um, of uh, the Shire. I do like Lord of the Rings. It's one of the few exceptions that I like with fantasy. I like the movies. I fell asleep reading the books. Um, and then Game of Thrones, I watched it like for the first season and then gave up because it was way too much going on and I was always lost and felt like I needed a PhD to pay attention. Um, the figure is really, really nice. But again, don't like Game of Thrones a whole lot, so don't really care. So basically out of this, there's like two items I actually find interesting, and even then, now they really blow me away. Uh, Loot Crate. It is Invasion. Much more sci-fi related. Of course, I'm going to like that a little bit more. Um, once again, the things that are really stand out about Loot Crate is they have their book every single month, plus the pins for those who uh, subscribe. I think that's really neat. It's cool. They're also having um, now exclusive stuff and bonuses for those who subscribe and you go online. Great idea. I really, really like it. Um, t-shirt is underwhelming. It's an X-Files t-shirt. I'm an X-Files fan, but even I have to say the t-shirt's only so-so. Will I wear it? Probably just because I don't have any X-Files t-shirts and I need to wear something while watching t-shirt the show when it comes back on, and I'm a geek like that. Um, they have an exclusive LED flashlight with the X-Files logo. It's a flashlight you could probably buy it for like two or three dollars. Um, they actually tend to be really nice flashlights, uh, but you know, They've got the brand on there, so it is what it is. Uh, there is a Space Invaders vinyl figure. You've also watched these sh uh, shows that I've done. You know that I'm not the biggest vinyl figure fan, um, and this one is no exception. While it does look kind of neat in the coloring as a whole, I'm kind of shrugging my shoulders and, yeah, whatever. Uh, they've got two prints in here for some classic sci-fi films. You Again, you've seen these things. You know that I say prints are uh, an item they throw in that make you feel like you're getting a deal, and you really aren't. Uh, while the prints are nice and I'd probably put them up, I would again shrug my shoulders and feel like they're filler. Um, the strange one out of this is this uh, multi-pass from The Fifth Element. It's Loot Crate exclusive. It's kind of cool, but it has one of the Kat Wachowski uh, twins on it instead of uh, Mia Jovovich's character of Lilu. So that's really, really strange that they went and did that. It's kind of funny, but really weird at the same time. So I don't know if it was like that in the film and that I just never noticed it, but um, yeah. For Fifth Element fans, you're probably going to really dig it. The item that I like the mo most is probably the most twisted one. It's an exclusive kid robot face hugger with a big smiley face on it. So yes, as it is implanting eggs into your stomach and going to kill you, at least it's smiling while doing so. Um, overall, the two boxes, if I had to choose a winner, I would actually choose neither of them. Um, Loot Crate, I'm just going to give a slight edge because of the small little things that they've added. They give you a uh, flashlight, but they also have batteries in there. I'm assuming the batteries are for the flashlight, not 100% sure. 
Um, and then there's just randomness of two giant rubber bands that were included. I, again, went through everything, and I have no idea what the hell the rubber bands are for. So if someone wants to explain in the comments what the hell the rubber bands are for, they're just a really nice rubber band. So, um, I guess bonus. But other than that, I mean, both these boxes were fairly disappointing this month. You'll find pretty much all this stuff on eBay in the next couple of days. Um, because I... I don't really care for much of it. So it is what it is. Um, not every single box is a winner. This one, I really choose neither if I could. If I have to choose a winner, I'm going to give the slight edge to Loot Crate because it's got the really fucked up twisted face hugger. Um, next month, we I don't remember what Loot Crate is. I know that uh, Nerd Block is doing some, um, of course, it's going to have some Batman, some Deadpool. And I don't remember what else is in there. Let's see here. Deadpool, Batman, that's, I think, all they announced so far. So, uh, obviously, if you're a fan of either of those, you're probably going to want to pick up Loot Crate, or, sorry, Nerd Block this coming month. Uh, if you'd like to pick up either of these after this really positive review, uh, you can click on a link underneath this video. It's an affiliate link, so by doing so, you help support our site. Um, and then when you disagree with me and say, no, these are awesome, feel free to sound off in the comments and tell me how wrong I am. Um... But as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This is Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. You can find us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep it geeky.